probably go back to New Mexico once a year, actually. You know, I used to go back there to record because there's just no way I can work in Brooklyn. And it's, it's too busy, it's too hectic, there's too much stimulation. So I used to always go back to New Mexico. This is the first time that I didn't do that. She's waiting for the night to fall Oh, I took it to like a, like a fish in water. For me, yeah. Oh, completely. I mean, I love Santa Fe, I really do. But you have to imagine growing up there is a weird experience. It's not, it's a town that never feels like, like it's your own. So even if you were born and raised there, it's still, you know, the downtown still belongs to the tourists and the culture still belongs to somebody else. And there's just this weird way of making you feel like you're never quite at home, even though you're from there. Or is Brooklyn, who cares where you're from? I don't feel like I can blend in anywhere. <laughs> I've just gotten used to it, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, it's not like it hasn't put me through the usual emotional roller coaster. But um, this year has felt good. It's, it's felt like there's been a certain degree of control that I had lost a long time ago. And, and it was interesting to kind of slowly regain that. It's been really hands-on, but yeah, no, this is the first time, the collaborations actually happens after the show, after the, the initial writing process. I basically locked myself in a cabin for six months to write, and once I had, uh, you know, a handful of songs, really just like a chord progression and a melody, like nothing, nothing fancier than that, uh, well, then we locked ourselves in a studio. But this time it was with the band that I've been playing with for about six years now, I think. So they're all guys that I can trust with my sounds and, and, and they know me well enough to know when, when, it's, when it's right. I don't know, growing up, it's, I had to do everything myself. It, it's just, it was the only way possible because everyone else was in punk bands, you know? which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not what I wanted to do. So I literally had to play every instrument, record everything myself, everything. And so it's taken years to kind of slowly relinquish that control over everything and to realize that I'm working with professionals. No, I've set it up so that that doesn't happen anymore. It was intense. I mean, uh, that tour was actually basically the first, I don't want to say world tour, because it wasn't a world tour, but it was America and Europe. But it was a time when I just couldn't believe people wanted me to be anywhere, for that matter. The fact that they wanted me to be so many places, I was just so excited by that, that I, I would say yes to anything and everything. And yeah, that burnt me out. It, it did, did a pretty good job of... of uh, throwing me around. And so for the last four or five years, I've had a lot of systems in place so that it doesn't happen again. I'm almost afraid to say my age because I kind of like seeing like different guesses popping up in the press, but uh, 25. I don't think I could stop even if I tried. But at the same time, I, st I started my own label a couple of years ago mostly to fund a really bizarre project in Mexico. But nowadays I'm thinking that maybe when this year is over, when I've kind of toured this album and pushed it as far as it can go, I've actually been looking into to re-releasing records that have been out of print for a long time, especially a couple of Brazilian musicians that I love. But we'll see. That's, that's, just, a, that's just an idea. So yeah, we'd given a song to a TV show and they were playing it during the opening credits. So soon after that we were getting emails from people in the industry in Brazil saying, oh my god, you need to, you need to, you need to check this out, it's, it's, it's blowing up. And then the kicker was Berutando. 
Um, those guys really made some waves. It's funny. Uh, yeah, it was a shock. It's just a bunch of kids gathering in the streets just playing Beirut songs. I was blown away. I couldn't believe it. I like it, though. I feel like, I feel like the, the attitude is just right. Just the kind of for shits and giggles in the street with the right instruments. It's really... I like, I like to see that.